Well, hello everyone. This is Wilson Cole. I'm president of Backdoor Hires and Adams, Evans and Ross. And I want to take a moment to visit with you about something that we don't see often, but for whatever reason, we're seeing it a little bit more. And um, I mean, we've been able to get them successfully collected, but uh, I can see where it could potentially be a problem um, later down the road. And uh, let, let me kind of give you the scenario and just so you can be aware of it, so you can build systems to backfill uh, the potential ramifications. We've had a couple of accounts this year where uh, there were uh, our clients presented a candidate. The candidate was turned down for whatever reason, uh, experience, position, whatever, you know, fill in the blank. And then six months later, they were presented uh, by another recruiter and they were hired, but the candidate had been uh, had gotten married and the name had changed. And our argument has been the candidate is the same. Uh, the uh, company they were made aware of had an opening, and uh, therefore, you know, the, the 12 month um, possessory period isn't necessarily to keep the company from going after the candidate, but it's also there to make sure if the candidate goes after that company that our client is is still protected. But the argument has been uh, on both times, well, we didn't know that this was the same candidate uh, and their name had changed, so it wasn't flagged uh, accordingly. And so, uh, therefore, we don't owe, owe the fee. Now, like I said, there are, uh, we've had two of them come in. Both of them we were able to get resolved without having to send it out to outside attorneys for litigation. Uh, one of them, our collection staff was able to get resolved at, at full fee, the other one at full fee. Uh, our uh, one of our staff attorneys uh, were able to get it resolved, but it's it's one of those situations to where you know I I just want you to be aware of it. Now there again, uh, you're going to know better than I I do what questions you can ask, and I know marriage uh, and, and uh, living arrangements and family are are certainly taboo. But if you know that the candidate is getting uh, married, you certainly want to keep track of it because once they get married, if, if their name changes, um, then you're going to see that as, a, as an argument if they wind up getting hired, especially if, if they paid another recruiter. So I just, you know, it, it's, it's not one of those you know, videos where we say, hey, do this, do this, step one, step two, step three. Hey, make sure you have a signed contract, of course, that says, hey, if they hire the candidate for any reason. But if you know that the candidate, if they mention to you, hey, if I get this job, you know, I'm, I'm planning on getting married in September, and so I'm going to need a week off uh, for uh, you know, honeymoon or you know, what, whatever the case may be, kind of take that as uh, just keep tabs of that candidate and then also uh, track how you're tracking that candidate. Because if uh, you have uh, Betty Smith listed as your candidate and you're going out and checking and all of a sudden it becomes uh, Betty Williams, it's going to be tough to uh, to track for uh, even our software because you're looking for exact names. If we can help you find backdoor hires, um, certainly visit our website at backdoorhires.com. Of course, with collections over at Adams, Evans, and Ross, go to staffingdebt.com. Uh, and let us know if we can help you with any collection needs. But just keep track of the candidates. And if you know that there's a name change coming, uh, you, you may want to address that, uh, whether it's internally or externally. But just be aware of it and track the candidate accordingly. Hey guys, it's Wilson again, and this video was brought to you by Backdoor Hiring Solutions. And if you like the content, make sure that you click the like button. And also, if you want to receive additional uh, videos, then please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to learn more about our software, uh, please visit our website at backdoorhires with an S dot com. And then also, if you'd like a copy of my free book, The Top Nine Excuses, please click in the, uh, the uh, video notes below and there's a link where you can get this book absolutely free. Just simply pay for shipping and handling. Thank you.